Good morning, Israel. I just wanted to briefly come in and check in with you guys and also tell you what I feel like the Most High is saying to us, um, especially as women. I wanted to let you know that um, the reason why some of your relationships are going downhill is because the Most High is separating you. First of all, a lot of us have entered into covenant with people that do not love him. And as a result, we are going through a spiritual warfare. The, the spirit in these people are warring against the spirit in us. So you might not have done anything in particular to piss them off or make them angry. And you're wondering why they're so hard-hearted, why they're so mean-spirited. Well, people the demons in them recognizes the light in you oil and water cannot mix light and dark cannot mix the bible says that men love darkness because their deeds are evil and some of us are in covenant and have been in relationships with people who do not love the most high you cannot convert people's heart that is the holy spirit's job and that is god's job and if they do not accept his son yashua then you can forget it so what if you don't believe that um you know yashua is god's son so i'm, I'm going to give you an example of the the type of warfare and the riff in relationships that can occur because recently I reconnected with a, a so-called friend and every time I mention God every time I mention um you know anything about the, the most high this person became angry and he said well so I began to ask questions and I said um and we were arguing and, and we weren't even dating so I was trying to figure out what it was and immediately the most high was showing me that this person is dark you know, we judge people based on their looks. We judge people based on, you know, how fine they are. We judge people based on what they drive and what they live in. Well, this world is very dark. The Bible says that this world is under the influence of the wicked one. Okay, so if that's the case, then when you meet people, the, the Holy Spirit is going to show you, especially when you've been walking in covenant with the Most High, He's going to show you what these people have in their hearts, that they do not love Him. And that's becoming more and more important now because we are in the last days and he is preparing his people to, for his return. So if you are in covenant and in relationships with people who don't love him, they are going to mistreat you. That rejection is going to pull you away from them and pull you closer to the most high. So what did Yahshua mean in the Bible when he said that you cannot, if you love your father, your mother, or your sister, your brother more than you love him, then you are not worthy of him. Meaning that if you put any relationship before him, then you are not worthy to be considered his child. So some of us have been in covenant with people that don't love the most high. We're desiring relationships that don't fit our purpose. And that's why he is allowing these things to happen. It is a spiritual warfare. It is a spiritual tug of war. And these people are mistreating you because they're rejecting who you are and what you represent. Even if you're not verbally saying it, they kind of know that you walk in the light, that you want a different path, that you're different. Even before Yahshua calls you, you already know that there was something different about you. Maybe you didn't fit into your family. Maybe you didn't fit in with the crowd. And there was something that just distinctly, you know, identified you as different. That's why you are getting the type of warfare you are having in your relationships. And not just male and female. It may be your family. It may be people that, you know, you go around and you've had to distance yourself because they do not treat you with love. Well, the enemy hates God. And if you represent him, him, guess what? You are going to be persecuted and you're going to be rejected just like Yahshua was. I wanted to give you guys this little nugget because when I began to get back on the scene, you know, as a single woman, I had to re be reminded that the spirit that these people have in them, because I've been choosing people based on I guess, you know, a generic form, what the world tells us to choose based on how they look and what they possess and their level of education. Well, that's not the only thing that matters. The first and foremost thing that matters is a man who loves Yahshua because if he loves God, he's not going to put his hands on you. He's not going to call you out of your name. He's not going to constantly disrespect you. So some of these battles that you're fighting, part of it is because of your disobedience to the Most High by dating and being in covenant with unbelievers unbelievers people who are confessing him but not living the life and you live with these people you're in covenant with them you know whether or not they really love the most high 
you know and my ex used to constantly um you know persecute me about that and say well he used to have to confess on the way home because of me you know me being judgmental and I wasn't judgmental he just didn't like being in the light so constantly he drew away from me you know he he was brutal and harsh and mean-spirited so that that was um a division and that was God pulling me away from this person so sometimes when we have battles and we're fighting, hi, Kayla, and we're fighting in relationships, that's God giving us a sign. But we listen to our girlfriends and we don't read the word and we don't even know that it's a spiritual tug of war. And Satan wants to antagonize you with this person and you are constantly pulling for their affection and the most high is pulling you away from this person. Love is encouraging. It's, it makes you feel whole and supported. If you are in a relationship, you got to constantly question his loyalty and his consistency. That is not of the most high. I have learned that the hard way, being in, being in covenant with people that don't respect my faith. That should have been automatic. The Bible says that if somebody causes you to sin, cut it off. But, you know, we don't always have the strength to do that. So we stay in relationships with people who disrespect us. So God is calling you, he's separating you, and if the relationship is getting worse, if they're constantly disrespecting you, dissing you, and then coming back and they're sorry later, guess what? They're never going to change. The devil sends people in our lives, and they pose as a certain person for a while or a season, and then after they trap us and get us enslaved into sex and, and, and falling in love, then it's hard for us to pull away, and we think, oh, this is the one, when it's really the devil trying to destroy you to give you stds to cause you emotional pain where you can't be your best for for the most high everything that we deal with is spiritual it is spiritual and the enemy doesn't want us to think like that so we're we're picking people based on how they look we're on dating websites oh he's cute let's go out to eat and it's just some kind of basic form of interaction when really we're dealing with spirits when that guy let me know he didn't believe in God, I cut that crap off. Yes, I missed talking to him. I thought this was a friend I knew from high school. But guess what? When you tell me you don't believe in God, and so he said, well, I don't believe in that white God. And I said, well, God isn't white. Our Messiah is black. He still didn't want to hear the truth. He didn't want to hear anything because he doesn't want to be drawn into the light. And ladies, I promise you, maybe you're not spiritual. Maybe you don't want to hear this. Maybe you're caught up in something. But this is important because the devil wants to snatch your soul. You, you, you can have time. You can serve God and still be, you know, still be happy. I'm the happiest I've ever been. And I don't have a man in my bed every night. I have peace. I don't have to worry about somebody calling me a B or an H. Or, I mean, I've had men that were disrespectful. My ex got in my face. When we argue, if a man gets in your face, the next thing he's going to do is hit you. They want to intimidate you, and I refuse to have a black eye when I can just cut it off. Don't be so desperate for relationships that you let this Negro constantly dis demean you just to get a little bit of attention, just to get some little crumbs. He is not worth it. Start treating him the way he treats you. That's what I started doing with an ex-friend of mine. I started treating him the way he treated me. That Negro caught the wind, okay? He left because he realized I'm not the one. When I realize that you don't care for me and your real self starts showing up, guess what? The real me starts showing up. And we have got to be more determined to be in covenant with the Most High. He's your friend. It's not about a bunch of rules. See, church has us fooled. He's, he's, on, he's on our side. He wants to deliver you. He wants you to be happy. He knows that these people don't even love you and you're laying in the bed with them. Hi, Monique. This was just on my heart this morning because he had to bring me back to the truth about who the people in the Bible are. And he had to help me to see I've been trying to deliver my people for years, but y'all keep falling into what the Gentiles do. Y'all keep falling into fornication. Y'all keep falling and being lied to. Once I deliver you from something, stay away from it. Cut it off and you'll begin to understand that you're loved. Like I have so much more confidence now. I don't have to deal with these Negroes, you know, inconsistent, not taking me out, just want to come by and have sex. I don't have to deal with that anymore. But when you're in the dark, you don't even see it. So because you're so caught up with how they make you feel, you don't even realize that he only calls you when he wants sex. Oh, it's the coronavirus, baby. We can't go on a date. Let's do Netflix and chill. Oh, and before you know it, he done rolled up on top of you, and then he leave, and you don't see him for another two weeks. That's not a relationship. 
He's using you. Tell him no and see what he finally treats you like. And see, I started doing that. And these little people that I usually pawn over and, oh, why he ain't called me? I don't even have to worry about it because they let me know what side of darkness or light they were standing on. And sometimes it really comes down to that, you guys. It really does. Because when you're fellowshipping in the dark and God is calling you, you're never going to be satisfied. You're not going to have any peace. And he's going to allow these people to mistreat you because they hate what you stand for. They hate what you stand for. You can't be telling a demon that to come out of fornication. They're going to curse you out. You can't tell somebody that wants to be an adulterer to, be, to come into the light. They, they don't want to do that. And so when I started preaching that, God started getting mad and hanging up and not wanting to talk. Well, you know what? Thank you, Most High, for saving me from a whole bunch of heartache. Six months into the relationship, two years, and he's cussing you out, calling you all kind of bees. You don't told him all about your past, and then he's bringing it up in your face. Oh, wow, they'll do that. They'll do that. You cannot trust a man who does not love God, period. And that's not religion. That's not churchy. That is the truth. If he doesn't love the most high, you can bet he's going to cheat. He is going to cheat. He doesn't have any self-control. That's what men in the world do. They go from bed to bed to bed. Men that know the most high, it's hard for them to say no. Men are wired for sex. So if he's not calling you, he's with somebody else. You ain't got to worry about that. Don't fool yourself. Don't lie to yourself because you want him still in your life. Sometimes we lie to ourselves because we don't want to face the fact that these men don't really want us. I don't care anymore. I don't want you. I don't want somebody that's unfaithful. I don't want somebody who can't read the word with me and get into the truth. Oh, oh, I don't love that white God. God isn't white. Paint him a color. That's an excuse to keep sinning. I have learned, and I'm not perfect, you guys. Seriously, I have to, you know, strategically move my life and take this one day at a time because we are weak. And a lot of times when we're lonely, we fall for the wrong people and we're lied to. But guess what? Once you figure that out, you wake up the next morning, you dust yourself off and you say, I'm going to try it again, God, because I know you know what's best for me i've made so many mistakes i don't trust picking a guy matter of fact why is that so important why can't i get another degree why can't i just get in the word and focus on what my gifts are until he makes it obvious i'm getting to know who i am i'm an israelite he's he's making it obvious that we're his people this country keeps killing our men the bible said that these people will have a perpetual hatred toward us He's teaching me that in the word of God. So some of the answers people are looking for are in the Bible. And we've rejected the Bible because we think Jesus is white and he's not. So what does that have to do with anything? Yah is calling us, sisters. He's calling us to be faithful, to be holy, so he can really bless us. I hope this work bless you. I've got to get started with work today, but I just had you on my heart. I've been thinking about some things, even for my own life and the peace that I have and the joy that I have because I'm not constantly worrying about being somebody's side chick, side piece, or whatever. Because if you can't give me your total devotion, I don't want anything to do with you. The Most High is the same way. He said, you're going to be hot or cold, but because you're lukewarm, I'm going to spit you out of my mouth. He's saying, I don't want you playing with my heart. He's the same way we are. Just like we don't want these Negroes playing with our time and our heart and our affection. He's the same way. He created us in his image. So you have a right to be angry when he doesn't call you back and when he do, he's not consistent. And then they have us thinking, oh, you crazy. That's the first thing they say, oh, you crazy. No, I'm not crazy. I think I have the right motive, motives. I think I got a right mind. And that's to get rid of your behind. I want you to stand up for what you believe in today. Get some standards. Start speaking life into yourself so that you can make better decisions. And you can know when somebody comes and they're trying to give you crumbs, you can say, hold up, brother. I'm not the one for that. But if you don't take the time to get to know yourself, you won't be able to do that. And get to know the most high. He created you. He looks just like you. His son does too. So I hope this word bless you. I've got to go, you guys. I love you. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.